Hello, this is Dan Oak-Lover. I'd like to tell you about an exciting performance I have coming up. I'll be playing a piano concerto by Felix Borowski. This uh, project was actually intended to be done way back in 2020, but because of COVID, it was delayed. However, through that experience, I've gotten to love this piece because I had four years to live with it now. Uh, it, we believe it hasn't been performed since it was premiered back in 1914 in Chicago by the Chicago Symphony. It was on a concert of all American music and uh, it received very fine reviews. I'd like to tell you a little about the background of Felix Borowski. He was born in England to a very musical Polish father and musical English mother. He studied both piano and violin and went to Cologne, Germany to the conservatory. After graduation at the age of 25, he was invited to Chicago to teach at the Chicago Musical College. Uh, eventually, he became such a prominent figure that he was the director of the college. For 48 years, he was the program annotator for the Chicago Symphony and they premiered this piano concerto among other works. He wrote three symphonies, as well as string quartets, organ works, a lot of piano solo works, and violin works. His most famous piece is called Adoration, which will also be performed on the concert by the orchestra with violin. It's a beautiful piece for originally for uh, violin, solo, and piano, and it's still to this day frequently performed. Uh, you can see from this list of works here that he was pretty prolific for the piano. Uh, unfortunately, almost all of that music has disappeared from our repertoire. It's very light, fair, I would call it salon music, to be polite. Um, and he wrote a couple of larger works, but by far the most serious work he wrote for the piano was this wonderful concerto. To my ears, this, this concerto, written four years after Rachmaninoff's third concerto uh, is very much uh, reminiscent of the music of Edward McDowell. It has a very romantic character with a little bit more juicy harmony than you might hear from a composer such as Grieg. Uh, it also resembles the Grieg concerto, the way it's constructed. Uh, the night of the premiere actually seemed to be a big success. And the next day, the Critic Edward Moore wrote in the Chicago Tri Tribune, the concerto written at a period when Mr. Borowski was still faithful to the classic idea of concerto is brilliant, melodious, and pianistic. It is none of the ultra-modern cacophony. On the contrary, its values of the Romantic school are pronounced. I think that's a spot-on review of the piece and partially explains why we haven't heard it since 1914. It was a little bit out of step with what was going on with contemporary composers when you consider Stravinsky was writing, already writing his great ballets like Firebird and Petrushka. And uh, within another 10 years, we would have great concertos by Bartok, Prokofiev, and Ravel. So uh, Borowski got lost in the cracks, unfortunately but I think the music has a lot to offer and is immediately appealing to the listener. Uh, for my ears, I also hear it sounding a little bit like movie music, even though uh, cinematography was very much in its infancy at that point. But uh, when you hear this, you'll hear something like what the Warsaw Concerto sounds like, and yet that was not written for a couple of decades later. So perhaps Borowski was a movie composer ahead of his time, who never got to have his time. So I hope to play this piece often because it's a very worthwhile work and I hope you can come to the concert. Details will be written in the description. Thank you very much.